Now that's the worst that could happen. So in this video, primarily we'll be looking at the cooling system. Um, that is the radiator here, the water pump on the side here, and the intercooler's already gone. That went off in one of the previous videos. Right, let's get on with this. I'm definitely going to need a uh, new radiator. Okay. So the radiator was um, already pretty much there. Um, if you look on the side here, yeah, quickly. Look on the side here, um, there are a couple of uh, a couple of tubes that I have to disconnect here. So let's do this one, one at the bottom here. It was already quite loose in the first place. And then also the hose here, which connects the radiator to the water pump. The water pump's the thing on the side here. Here is the water pump. If you actually have a look at the water pump here, look at. Don't know if I can get that in properly. Let's see. There we go. Look at all that grime from the water pump. That isn't particularly good news. But you know. Being that we're rebuilding this engine anyway, it's not end of the world. Hopefully. Right, let's get this in, uh, this radiator off and water pump next. That was quick and easy, actually. Um, but there is a radiator. <sighs> Position you. Oh, nuts. What? Put my finger over that. <laughs> right, radiator. Radiator done. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there we go. It's got a few dings in it. Um, and the Renault 5s had major, major heating issues in the first place. So one thing I don't want to happen is, is this overheating at all. So I will be replacing this uh, radiator for a uprated radiator. Makes sense while I'm doing this. Um, and actually the water pump as well, I think you can get out rated water pumps. Um, any fans out there of, of a Renault 5 who could recommend a good place to pick up a radiator or a water pump or models of decent outrated water pumps and radiators, please drop us a, drop us something in the comments there, um, pointing us in the right direction. Uh, really appreciate that as always. Um, one thing I really wanted to say before I went much further was um, thanks again everyone who's watching these our subscriber numbers are creeping up every single day shockingly actually um, and uh, it's all down to you guys if I'm perfectly honest yes we're making these videos but um, you are really driving us forward so from the bottom of my heart honestly thank you so much right water pump um, I believe there's six bolts here and then there is a hidden seventh one just in here that should take off the water pump so it's uh it's cracked on loving these tools by the way don't know how long i can uh, borrow borrow these um but uh, i'll 
sure it'll be awesome back at some point. It is. You're having a bubble. <laughs> you know what? I was just saying to myself, I'm doing really well. I just took off the radiator and uh, didn't get a leak. And uh, guess what? Got another leak. I swear, every single thing that possibly could leak in this car, I've actually managed to do and it's always gone all over my floor. Now, where was I supposed? Where was I supposed to drain that from? Come on. A few more comments down there taking the mick out of me. Oh well. How much water is actually gonna come out? Keep going. What's the worst can happen now. Now that's the worst that could happen. How much water's in this thing? Right. Now this. Can I have to undo him as well? So <sighs> quickly leave that on because it won't work properly. There's a water pump. A crusty, crusty water pump. Right, it's gonna take off this last um, hose. And then uh, let's show you this, this beast. Okay, so the water pump. I think I'm fairly safe to say that um, it may have been causing this little engine's problems. Um, the build up. I'm going to show you the build up of dirt. The inside is absolutely horrific. I'd be shocked if it was performing as. Whoa, look at that spider flipping egg. He's a bad boy in there. Right, I'm going to get rid of it. Look away. Quite scary. Yeah, I'll be, um, I'll be surprised if it was performing as it should do. That's. The intercooler, the radiator, and the water pump all removed, which is great. I'm, I'm going to carry on removing some more of this auxiliaries, and then we've got the big job of the gearbox. Another day. Not feeling in top form today, but working on something like this. Uh, picks you up so I will carry on. So that's the um, engine wiring harnessed. Um, there's one bolt on the other side which has caused me some grief, so we're just removing things one by one. So smooth that side. So I'll probably just remove all the um, the dizzy cap and all the leads. They're all nicely labelled already.
looking empty now, isn't it? Almost there. Then, it's the gearbox. Do this side. All done. So there we go. One fairly stripped down engine. And a whole nother video again. Um, thanks everyone for watching, as always. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe, please do that. Our numbers are still creeping up, but we'd like to hit 400 um, in the next week if possible. Imogen hasn't really been in these, this video. Um, she doesn't find the engine that interesting, um, although I really do. So I expect she probably won't be in the next video either. Just, just a little old me, I'm afraid. Um, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed taking it all apart so far and, and learning. Um, not too many challenges. Only one spillage, which is pretty good going. On the next video, I will take the actual main block away from the subframe, um, remove the gearbox, and uh, get it on the engine stand, which would be really good. Maybe have a, a peer inside and see what sort of mess we're left with. I'd like to thank you for all your comments. Um, a lot made me chuckle. I think someone mentioned, uh, yeah, this is where the costs come in and you know I, I'm under no illusion this is then going to end up costing um, I could probably end up buying actually a Renault 5, 5 for um, the same sort of price that I'm uh, going to spend on this project but it's not necessarily about the money it's also about the learning and the experience and, and the whole journey the journey wasn't just for me it was for me and the kids and um, so far they're both getting involved in their own little way right I think it's time for me to tidy up this mess, tidy up this workshop and uh, make it look a little more presentable for you guys.